Hey guys, what's up? This is Will and welcome back to another Will TV video. So I know I have been slacking on the YouTube videos. Um, <clears throat> I got a lot of things that been going on in my life. Um, you know, I've been doing merch stuff. I had to have work. I got other big things to work on. But I can't forget about where I came from and that's YouTube. So I gotta make sure y'all get posted and things like that. Um, let me see, today is May 27th or 28th. Um, you know, school is almost over, so that means I get to put more time towards YouTube. And also, I've been streaming. If you don't know about me streaming, I will put that in the description. Add me on Mixer at Hey Guys What's Up. You catch me and my partner Kayla will be will be playing Roblox, Scary Games, Grand Theft Auto, etc. Yeah. So I've been real busy, um, you know, merch. Don't forget to cop up. My summer collection is coming real soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm super excited for that. Um, I got a few colors coming. Y'all can't know until, you know, it's that time and things like that. So this video, this video, this video, this video is about a story time. So let me tell you about something. So you might be asking, What's going on with your face and things like that if you see left, right, left, right and things like that. <clears throat> you might be asking what's going on with my face so let's get started. Grab your snacks, grab your snacks. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to grab your snacks. Alright, so now that you got your snacks. Let's get started into this story time. So, it looks like I'm hot. No, I'm not. Is my face is got shea butter on it, African shea butter. Cop that up if you like. Yeah. So, starting on with this story time. So, my face, my face, my face. It was worse than this. Um. So, I would say about a week and a half now. I decided to cook, being as though I enjoy cooking. It's one thing that I really want to take up in life, maybe be a side job, things like that, something big that I could do with my life later on in life, and things like that. Like, you know, I love cooking, I love cooking, I love cooking all types of meals. One of my specialties is pancakes. Even though pancakes is easy, but it's one of my specialties. Nobody can do it the way I do it. And also spaghetti, and things like that, even though that's pretty simple. Chicken, all right. Bacon, oh, all right. Cake, oh, all right, oh, all right, oh, all right. So, um, one day I decided to, hey, I had chicken, I had chicken. So I had chicken. <laughs> so I said, hey, you know, it's a nice day. Being as though global warming, don't know what to do, what it, what it, what it wants to do with itself. So it was 83 degrees. So I said, hey, why not? It's grilling weather or whatever. So. I said, hey, let's go outside and let's go grill some chicken. So I said, all right, I got myself prepped up to cook some chicken and I brought the grill outside. Cool, fine and dandy. So starting my process on cooking the chicken, it went well, you know, I started to grill, you know, you smelling them good smells, getting piped up by the neighbors, saying, oh, oh, you doing your thing, can I get my platter and things like that. I was just like laughing, joking, and whatever. <laughs> and yeah, and then, um, Soon, um, I was continuing to cook. Um, I was continuing to cook, and um, you know, sometimes when you got um, charcoal um, and you don't really light it properly, um, the fume, the flame, will eventually go out. Please don't mind that. Um, so I checked at the grill, looking at the chicken, looking at its progress, and it's cooking pretty slow. And then I realized that the fire had went out. So um, during the time that I was cooking, um, you know, it was kind of windy. So, excuse me, um, I couldn't really get the paper that I had in my hand to get lit up by the lighter being as though it was so windy. So, please don't mind that. Um, I went in the house, I grabbed the lighter fluid, I sprayed the lighter fluid onto the charcoal and then I tried to light it with the paper. It wasn't working. And then I kept trying. I tried like 10 times. The wind was not trying to work with me and things like that. And then 
I grab one of those long lighters. It looked like my finger and then you like click it and then the fire go on. So I went to the grill, I tried to light the fire and right when I touched the charcoal, it was like this whole explosion of fire that had went on me. Um, so I don't know what had happened to me specifically, even though it happened to me. You know how you're going through something scary and you close your eyes. So that's basically what I did. I closed my eyes the entire time. So what I know what had happened to me is that I caught on fire for a short period of time. Thank God, um, because um, it could have been way worse than what it is now. My skin was worse than this. It's in the um, pigment phase. You know, my melanin is coming back. Um, thank God. But um, I was on fire for a few seconds, and then one, one of my neighbors had a hose, so he had to hose me down. Um, and then right after I got hosed down, I was super grateful, of course, but I ran back in the house. And mind you, I didn't feel nothing at first, but right when I went in the house, it was just stinging. Like, oh yeah, mind you, when I got burnt, all my hair is gone. So it's just like, well, not this hair. Like, if you see my arm, oh yeah, don't forget the arm. I got burnt on my arm also. Like, if you could see, it's not that bad. Well, it is bad. Well, you probably can't see it how I see it, but it is kind of bad and things like that. And then it's just like, my eye, um, this eye... My nose, it was worse than this. My lip, my bottom lip, my cheek, and things like that. Um, and you see my eyebrow is kind of going. You see that right there. And um, it pushed my hairline back just a little bit, but I'm not tripping. I'm still alive and things like that. So like I was continuing on with this story, I ran in a house. And right when I ran in a house, my face started stinging and also my arm um in my finger i got burnt on my finger also but that's that's going now thank god so then my sister said hey let's try honey so we put honey on my face and we just put a paper towel on my arm so the honey it worked but it was still that burning sensation but it did not really feel good because i was crying i wasn't like <laughs> things like that i was just, it was just like a for it wasn't a forced cry it was just like oh you're in pain start crying and things like that so tears started running running rolling down my eyes they was not forced i was not yelling i wasn't crying and things like that <laughs> and things like that so um we tried the honey it was cooling at first and things like that and then eventually I started getting hot the honey started dripping and you know on me <laughs> you know if you got honey on your face why not lick it and things like that so um um so <sighs> continuing on um from there I was just standing in front of the fan and then mind you I still cook dinner because you know a chef doesn't leave his stove until the meal is cooked so I got support from my sister um, on cooking the meal, we made chicken, the grill, we chalked the grill, so it was stove chicken, we made <clears throat> mac and, no, not mac and cheese, we made broccoli, and then we made some rice, um, it was delicious, by the way, and then from there to now, um, my skin has been healing, um, so far it's been like a few days. Um, so I have a video f to show you all, um, about like the first day that I got burnt. So I'm going to let you guys watch it. So I'm just going to move over to the side and let the video play. So today was the day that, um, um, I almost like basically died, I would say, um, I was grilling and then I put a little bit of lighter fluid into the grill and then it was a huge explosion worth of fire that went on me. Um, I wouldn't say I'm very thankful that I um, made it out that situation, even though it was very dramatic. Um, I'm very thankful that no skin on my arm. This is the arm that really hurts the most. And my face, as you can see, is honey on my face. Um, but no no skin got taken off is a bunch of hair that's going um you know my head you can see those grays um it took a nice amount of my hair off um my face really burns um 
but I'm very thankful. <sighs> yeah, so um, from then to now, my skin has been peeling. And like I said, now I'm currently in the pigment or melanin phase where my color is starting to come back. Um, you know, my nose is pink, um, so I'm currently waiting for that to heal up. Um, I do, I still have a few little bit of dead skin, but I also have pictures to show you about, um, how this process has been going. Um, but before I really cut this video short, well, cut this video, um, I want to say I'm very thankful that I'm still alive because that could have been a way worse situation. Um, because I could have caught on fire, I could have ran up the block and I could have been dead for real for real i want to say i'm very thankful for my neighbor for their holes to hold me down and they was super urgent because they seen the whole thing they was in a car they and they seen it they was like oh snap and then they got the holes and they was just like come on come over here and things like that and then i was very thankful for that also and i'm very very thankful for um those who i informed that i got burnt that i caught on fire and um those who ask like do you need anything is there any way where i can help and things like that and um i'm super appreciative of that and i'm just happy for my siblings also especially my sister Dej. um she helped out with everything she helped with the entire process of my skin the honey the prep with the meal and things like that and i'm just very thankful to live the amount of days that i have on this earth and if I did die that day, I will be happy with the stage that I was in because I'm happy with my life and things like that. Um, but my skin is healing one day at a time. I'm super appreciative. I miss my eyebrows. Also, it took majority of my eyelashes because my eyelashes was way better than and more lavish than they are now. Um, so, you know, this piece of eyebrow is missing. Um, you know, my arm is bald now. I, I used to have a lot of hair. I really don't have much now. You see, like the little hairs are growing right now as we speak. I am a bald man. Um, but I'm very thankful to live another day, to see, to have seen another day after that incident. Um, yes, it was traumatic. Um, and it was like such a fast process. I was not expecting that at all. For future tips for myself, just be more careful when I'm on a grill. And also, do not, do not do what I did. Do not light a fire and then use the clicker join. The only time where you use a clicker join is when, don't use it at all. Use a match, just throw it in there, move back, um, be careful, and things like that. Um, actually, that was probably my third time actually grilling. So, you know, um, it's an experience, one grill at a time and things like that. Um, but like I said, I'm super appreciative that I'm still here because I could have died and things like that. Could have caught on fire, been on that ground. And I'm super thankful at that, that my skin is coming back to the place that it was before. Because normally if you get burnt and it's at a certain degree, either third or second, second, second degree burns and third degree burns, you do not get your skin back. I would say I probably got first degree, even though my face was deteriorating and peeling and things like that it is coming back to the normal state that it was before and i'm very thankful for that because a lot of people that go through that experience that i did does not get that skin that they had before back um so i'm very thankful for that and things like that i'm, I'm super thankful um so some updates some updates 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 on me will tv things like that so like i said school almost over i am going to be focusing on youtube this summer um so i'm not surprised at where we stand right now because i haven't been active so i'm going to make sure i'm active during this summer um i might drop the fam talk resident evil 3 video there's something wrong with the audio so i probably won't drop it though um eating with will those are still coming the free every life is canceled until 12th grade <laughs> unfortunately um you know corona is shutting everything down shut my school down so it won't be no free airy life and i'm not doing no virtual free airy life because that would just be dead um 
so the fairy life is canceled until un further notice unfortunately i miss all my friends dearly um let me see let me see the summer collection of will tv merch is coming real soon be patient it's coming i'm super excited about that um and i'm just taking it one day at a time don't forget to add me on mixer at hey guys what's up you will catch me either by myself or with my partner kayla um where we will be playing scary games granted photo etc and also if you want me to play a certain game please put it in the comment section and life is great because i'm still here taking it one day at a time super thankful and things like that and i hope you guys enjoyed this talk with me things like that super appreciative love the people that are sticking with me love it very thankful and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment subscribe leave a comment you know um i hope everyone is living well during this quarantine um in my state or city slash city we're entering the yellow stage meaning that some businesses open some restaurants open you still have to do mobile ordering you could go outside now still gotta wear a mask still gotta wear gloves well gloves wasn't really necessary more of a mask <sighs> but we're slowly getting there we're slowly getting there there are our state our country our continent is coming back to normal even though it will not be the same from here but we're still here you give it up give it up you're still here you, you, you made it you painted it even though this virus is not what you think it is it is what it is as long as you're still here that's all that matters you know wash that hand wash that body stay clean still have fun break the rules but not really don't get arrested and um i'll see you guys in the next video until then guys i'll see you guys when i see you guys Peace out.